All right, what's up, guys? This is Hidden Wisdom 2020. So I kind of want to give you guys an assessment on some things that I think about when I see kind of what's going on. So first of all, let's take a step back and let's look at this whole situation from a hindsight point of view. People in America are getting upset and are freaking out because of some things that I don't think they they're really thinking this fully through now it's true us as Americans I think have felt entitled as if we have the right to many things that first of all we don't need okay but second of all that really when you look at it it's it's a creature comfort. It's not really a necessity at all. It's, in my opinion, these things are not God-given, inalienable, thing, inalienable things, right? Like in the Constitution where it talks about our inalienable rights. There are certain things that we should have God-given natural laws to live our lives. Okay, peacefully. However, things like flying on airplanes. People are getting upset because of all the limitations. You have to wear a mask. You have to fill out papers, all kinds of stuff, right? And they're acting as if it's their God-given right to fly on an airplane. Well, it's not, okay? Those airplanes and those companies technically are owned by certain people. And if you want to fly your way, then you can buy an airplane and fly it wherever you want. But when there's things that are not God-given rights owned by other people whether those people are good intentioned or bad intentioned or doing good things or bad things that's hearsay but the point is that those things are not god-given rights okay as far as and you can think of that on a much broader spectrum of all these things that people are freaking out about in America now I understand that this whole C-19 thing is being used for much more uh, deeper purposes and larger agendas than just the safety of the people it has nothing to do with that I understand that nefarious reasons however if you believe the Bible, you believe Paul's epistles, which are to us today, the body of Christ, the dispensation of the grace of God. Paul says, if you have food and raiment, then you should be happy. And thank God, that means food and shelter. The things that people are freaking out about, all these quote-unquote so-called rights, that we are just supposed to have and I'm using airplanes in this example are not God ordained rights that you are just well you know I'm supposed to be entitled to that with my God given rights no there's a lot of things that are not that now they're putting restrictions on and even banning people from doing well so what if you're a Christian you should see through all that and you should know that you're not entitled to those things just by any way that you want and unfortunately that's the way the world works now on the other hand when this affects let's say uh, things that are God-given entitled rights uh, for instance, breathing air. You know, if it gets, if they get so unreasonable and crazy 
that they want you to wear a mask anywhere you are outside. That is not right. That is a God-given right to breathe fresh air. For instance, if they make a law, which people are really talking about, where it's mandatory to have a vaccine just to exist, that is not right. That is your God-given right not to shoot synthetic, man-made drugs and whatever else is in those things into your body. For ye are the temple of God, Christians. Okay? So there are lines of demarcation here on what is God-given inalienable rights and what people think are God-given inalienable rights, but really are what they are doing is they are thinking that they are entitled to these things and they are not that. They are not God-given inalienable rights. So when you see all these things on YouTube and on Instagram about restrictions and this and that, really think about it. Really think about is this my God-given inalienable right from the Lord of Lords? Or is this something man-made and something that I don't need to live? Because the Apostle Paul keeps it very simple. Food and raiment and a job. And be happy, content. I can do all things through Christ. When that verse is mentioned, he's talking about contentness contentness so really think about it really think about it. don't be triggered or gaslighted just by any old thing any restrictions however i want to warn people that it might get to the point where they will be unreasonable and wicked men which paul said to pray that we are not mistreated by those type of people. Thank you guys. God bless you all out there.